Tutankhamun's meteoric iron dagger, also known as Tutankhamun's iron dagger, and King Tut's dagger, is an iron blade's dagger, from the tomb of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh, Tutankhamun. Reigned 1334 BC to 1325 BC. When archaeologists peered inside Tutankhamun's tomb for the first time in the early 1920s, they found thousands of artifacts, statues, furniture, jewelry, clothes, chariots, paintings. Among these possession, was an iron dagger made from an iron meteorite that would puzzle researchers for almost a century. Due to the dagger's blade composition and homogeneity, closely correlate with meteorite composition and homogeneity, some researchers presume the material for the blade to have originated by way of a meteoric landing. But in a recent study in meteoritic and planetary science, Takafunmi Matsui and his colleagues proposed that the king of the nearby Mitanni Empire gave the dagger to King Tut's grandfather as a wedding gift. It's easy to understand why the researchers might be confused. The Iron Age, a period when people across Europe, Asia and Africa, began making tools from iron ore through a process called smelting, is generally thought to have begun no earlier than 1200 BC, some 150 years after King Tut's death. Unlike the other iron artifacts found in Tut's tomb, which were crudely fashioned, the dagger had been expertly made. So if smelting was off the table, archaeologists wondered, how might the dagger have been made? Since the 1960s, the high nickel content in the blade has been accepted as indicative of meteoric origin. In 2016, a team of Italian researchers analyzed its elemental composition. The blade was subjected to X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy, a non-destructive testing method. The analysis shows that the blade's composition is mostly iron, 11% nickel, and 0.6% cobalt. The nickel content in the bulk metal of most iron meteorites ranges from 5% to 35%, whereas it never exceeds 4% in historical iron artifacts from terrestrial ores produced before the 19th century. Also, the nickel to cobalt ratio of this blade is comparable to iron meteorite materials. However, the 2016 study didn't address the type of meteorite that supplied the iron, or how the dagger might have been made. From the late Neolithic era to the Bronze Age, ancient eastern Mediterranean cultures used iron infrequently. The existence of smelted iron objects during this period has been shown to be uncommon or rare. Iron working methods, and iron uses, and its dispersion and circulation within prehistoric society, are contentious issues within the scientific community, due to gaps in knowledge and data. These debates have included the presumed meteoritic source as the material from which the iron dagger blade is made. There is no archaeological evidence of iron smelting in Egypt until the 6th century BC. And the earliest known example of Egyptian use of metallic date to around 3400 BC, before Egypt became a single state ruled by a pharaoh around 3000 BC. Issues like this is what Takafunmi Matsui director of the Chiba Institute of Technology, Planetary Exploration Research Center in Japan, and his colleagues hope to answer, with the help of the Grand Egyptian Museum Conservation Center. They visited the Cairo Museum in 2020. Matsui and his colleagues used a portable scanning X-ray fluorescent instrument to map out the elements on the surface of the blade. This revealed concentration of iron, nickel and cobalts, as well as manganese. There were also several blackened spots on the blade, which contained sulfur, chlorine, calcium and zinc. And just as informative as the abundance of these elements is their arrangement. They showed a distinct cross-hatch texture, known as Widmannstatten patterns, named after the Austrian mineralogist, Count Alois von Beck Widmannstatten. Occurs is some meteorites, if their iron-nickel mixtures separate into bands upon cooling. This is typical of an octahedrite, the largest group of iron meteorites. According to the authors, the low amount of sulfur in the black patches and the Widmannstatten pattern comprised strong evidence that the dagger was forged at a relatively low heat of less than 927 degrees Celsius. As for where the dagger came from, the Armana letters offered a strong clue that it was a wedding gift of Amenhotep III by the king of Mitanni. This was bolstered by the fact that the team found the gemstones in the gold hilt had been attached with lime plaster and iron processing technology and lime plasters were already prevalent in the northern Mitanni and Hittite region. The 3,400-year-old Armana letters 
Hundreds of clay tablets considered to be the oldest documents of diplomacy ever found, consist of correspondence written between Egyptian pharaoh and nearby kings. One such letters, mention a list of gift made of iron including an iron dagger, that the king of Mitanni sent to King Tut's grandfather, Amenhotep III, when pharaoh married a princess from the region. Though, they had yet to solve the mystery of who made the dagger, but the bar for wedding gift, has certainly been raised.